Hey, this is Brimster, and we're starting a new genuinely approachable Sudoku video with the puzzle for the 9th of August 2024, which is called Pyramid uh, Pyramidal um, Sudoku by Bill Murphy. I don't know this one, so let's have a look at how it works. We've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. Then digits in each diagonally adjacent pyramid must either sum to must be either the sum or the difference of the two cells diagonally below them in the next row. So digits in each diagonally adjacent pyramid. I'm assuming it's marked pyramid. So because these cells aren't, because this is a pyramid, but it's, so it's got to be marked pyramid. So these, because yeah, because this, Digit in each diagonally adjacent pyramid must either be be either the sum or the difference of the two cells diagonally below them in the next row. So this isn't the sum or the difference of seven and eight. So this isn't the sum of seven and eight, and it's not the difference between seven and eight. So it must be these ones. So this is either the sum of those two cells or the difference of those two cells. What I don't know is whether this applies to those two cells. Because this is in the pyramid, digits in each diagonally adjacent pyramid must e be either the sum or the difference of the two cells orthogonally below them. So I don't know if this one counts for that. I'm going to say no, because otherwise this bottom row here would be broken. So I'm saying this doesn't have to apply here. So what it means is that it is impacting these cells. So these cells are either the sum or the difference between the two cells that are diagonally beneath them, and the same with these cells. So these are the cells that are actually impacted, and these are the cells that impact the cells above them. It's not clear, but I think that's the way it's going to go. I'm How long into the video? Two minutes in, and I've only just, I think, figured out the rules. Okay, um, of course, below will be links to the puzzles as well as to the genuinely approachable Sudoku homepage and to their YouTube channel. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So we know nine is either the sum or the difference between these two digits. You can't have a nine difference between seven because seven couldn't go up to seven plus nine would be 16. I can't put 16 here and I can't go down because this would be minus two. So this has to be the sum and this has to be a two. Seven, a seven difference here would make this two and nine and that doesn't work so this has to be the sum so this has to be two and five now two has to be the difference because two can't be the sum of five this would have to be minus three so this is the difference so this is either three or seven in order to make a two difference now two again can't be the sum so this is either three or seven and it can't be seven so this is three five if it's the sum this would have to be a two and it can't be so five is the difference so this is either minus two or eight so it's eight now eight if this was a ooh, I'm not sure so let's look down here. Eight could be the difference if this is nine. And if eight was the sum, this is seven and it can't be seven. So this is nine. So one can't be the sum. So it's the difference. So one is the difference between those two digits. So this has to be either six or eight and it can't be eight. So this is six. Seven, if it was the difference, this would have to be 10 or minus four and that doesn't work. So this has to be the sum. So this is a four. Six, if this is the sum, this is a two. If it's the difference, this would have to be 10 or minus two. So this is a two. Nine. Now, if this is the sum, this would be six and three. You can't do a nine difference, the same as I couldn't do a nine difference up here. If it was six plus nine to be a difference, this would be 15. Six minus nine would mean minus three. So this is three. Three. If this is the sum, it's two and one. If it's a difference, I couldn't do minus two minus three. It'd be minus one. So if it's a difference, so if it's a sum, it's this. If it's a difference, this would be two plus three, which would make this five. So this is one or five. Okay, let's do some more Sudoku maybe. So seven, seven, seven is right here. I'm putting seven in one of those two. Um, now I'm just finding the gray really tricky. I wish the gray was a little bit fainter, but mm, 
beggars can't be choosers. Not that I'm begging for puzzles. Um, three, three, so three is right here. This is a quadruple, which is two, five, eight, and nine. There's no eight in either of those. There's no two in either of those. That's the five, nine. So the five, nine comes out of there. The nine here makes that the five and that the nine. This is a two, eight. That two makes that the eight and that the two. There is a triple in this column, which is one, four, six, um, don't know. So one, two, three, four, five is in one of those two. And there's a nine in one of those. Ah, this is the nine. So this is the five. This is one, four, six. It's not six. So this is a one, four pair in the column. Now I'm assuming this doesn't flow onto here. Because if this was a five, it couldn't be a sum, it'd have to be a difference, that'd have to be a two, maybe. Three would have to be a difference, which would make that a four, maybe. Ah, see, I'm not sure. Because digits in each diagonally adjacent pyramid must either be the sum of the difference of the two cells diagonally below them. These are the two cells diagonally below that. Now, and so far, I'm not seeing anything that breaks it, except for this one can't have, there's no two cells diagonally below it. So I don't think this can work off this row. Though it's not clear. Eight is not in any of those. So eight is in one of those two. Um, what are these two? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight are those. So there's no six here, which I get from this. This is a one, four pair. This is six, eight. The six here makes this the eight and this the six. This is not the eight. This is the eight. Not sure how to resolve the one, four yet. So three is not in those. If this is a three... This would have to be, no, this can't be a three, because if this is a three, it couldn't be the sum. This would have to be minus five. And if this was a difference, I couldn't go eight up to 11. So it'd be eight down to five. And that doesn't work either. This is the seven. So with the seven, this can't be a sum. It has to be a difference. So this is the one, meaning this is the four and this is the six, meaning this is the one, this is the four, and this is the one. There you go. That does that. Now, this one still isn't resolved, but that's not all that's not resolved. So... This is all that is not resolved. One, two, and nine go in. And the nine here makes that the two and that the nine. Cool. So, trying to push through, just not very quickly. Um, one is not in any of those. So one is in one of those two, which puts one in one of those two. That one says not there. So there's one here. Was, I'm just misclicking, that's all. One is in one of those two. Uh, oh, this one makes that the five. And now I've done all the pyramids. This is a seven. So in here, I need to put one, four, six, and eight. So this is one and eight. And this is four and six because of the four, six in the row. The six is looking down, making that the four and that the six. The eight is looking down, making that the one and that the eight, which means that's the one. This is not the one. Cool. These are five and nine, and these are two and eight. And the eight is looking down, making that the two and that the eight. Okay. In here, I need to put a three. Don't know. That's probably not the place. Three, four, six, eight. Well, eight is in one of those two. No, it's not. Eight is right in the middle. So these are three, four, and six. There's no six there. So seven is in, ah, seven is at the top. This is three, four, six, and there's no six there, of course. So what is this triple? One, two, five. There's no one or two there. That's the five, taking five out of both of those. Oh, and the two makes that the one and that the two, meaning that's not the one. One now has to be there. That's the one. And this is a three or a four. And the four makes that the three, that the four, 
That's the four, taking four out of those. This is cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a nine. This is a known pair. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the six is looking up, making that the five and that the six. These are three and nine. And the three is looking up, making that the nine and that the three. Um, the nine is looking down, making that the five and that the nine. So these are pairs. Four and six. So the four is looking across, making that the six and that the four, which is looking back, making that the three and that the six. The seven is looking down, saying not the seven there, that's the seven. This is a triple, two, three, five. The three and the five is making that the two, so I take the two out and I'll use the three to make that the five and that the three, and that is the correct solution. That was a lot of fun. I like that one. Apart from not clearly understanding the rules at the beginning, um, really cool. Once I understood what the rules meant, um, yeah, very, very cool. And I think they weren't too hard to figure out. I just had some uncertainty because I had nothing to refer back to. Um, the puzzle rules need to be clear enough to figure them out. And I just had to get there. Cool. Um, yeah, we'll see what tomorrow's puzzle brings. Okay, now we've got the puzzle for the 10th of August 2024, which is a quadruples Sudoku by Philip Newman. So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply, and then we've got these quadruple circles. And digits in corner circles, so these quadruple circles, must appear in the surrounding four circles in some order. So 1, 7, 8, 9 are what's in those four cells. These cell, four cells contain 1, 2, 3, and 4, and these four cells contain 3, 5, 7, and 9. Um, down here, we know that there is a one, a two, and a three, and something else, but we don't know what the something else is. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So often I find the way to look at a quadruple is these. These two cells can't be one, two, three, or five, six, seven, eight. So they can't be one, two, three. They could be four. They can't be five, six, seven, eight. They could be nine. But we know that these four cells are four, five, six, and seven. So we can't put a nine here. This is the four. This is the nine. And these are five, six, and seven. I can't put five or six in that cell because of the five and six here. This is the seven. There's no seven in either of those because I need the four different digits here. Um, now, what can I do? These are five, six, seven, and eight. Now, the important thing about that is I can't put a one or a two or a three there. That's the one, two, three. So what I know now is there's no two in any of those and there's no two in any of those. So the two is in one of those three. Uh, the same is true with three. I can't put three in any of those because three is around that quadruple and three is down here. So three is in here as well. It's not true about one, but I can do the same trick here. This could be one. It can't be two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. So this is one nine. This nine is looking up making this the one and this the nine. We know that these are now two, three, and four. Um, hmm. There'll be something obvious I am missing, but there always is. Now, 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 now. Four here is putting four in one of those two. So four because four around this quadruple, which means no. Yeah, which means this is two, three, four, because four here puts four here, and now four has to go in here. So this is a two, three, four triple. Great. Nine. Well, hang on. Six, seven, eight here, and six, seven, eight here. So I can't put six, seven, or eight in those cells or those cells. This is six, seven, eight. So this is six, seven, eight, which means this is six and this is a seven, eight pair, but this can't be an eight because I can't put an eight around that quadruple. That's the seven, that's the eight. These are three, five, and nine. Interesting. I like it though. The one, of course, is putting one in one of those two and therefore putting one up in one of those three, but I don't think that's the trick. One, two, three, hang on, something is here. There's no nine here. Nine is in one of those two. So what is these? These are one, two, three, and five. And there can't be a one here. So this is two, three, or five. So the one must be down here for the column, and there's no one here. One is in one of, the, well, I know what these three digits are. These are one, five, and nine, which, may, of course, does put the one, the, the five here. One, five, nine here puts the one here. This is actually quite tricky. There's no three here because I can't put a three around this quadruple. This six puts six in one of those two. 
It puts six in one of those two. Right. It puts six in one of those two. So six in this box has to be in one of these three cells. It can't be here because I can't put it around that quadruple. It can't be here because it must be around that quadruple. That's the six. There's no nine here. This is a three, five pair because there's no nine around that quadruple. That's the nine. I'm enjoying this. This is three, four, five. There must be a four in there. So there's no four there. I'm having a ball with this one. This is a six, seven pair because it's six, seven here. So this is six, seven. And therefore this is eight, nine, meaning this is not the nine. I'm not necessarily doing great at it, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, the nine here, oh, this is a one nine pair because the one and the nine does the same. This is one nine. So this is seven, eight. Two, four, oh, there's no nine around that quadruple. That's the eight, that's the nine. So these are two, four, and six, but there's no two or four around that quadruple. That's the six. There's no six in either of those. This is the two, four. Oh, there is a two around this quadruple and there is a two around this quadruple. If that was a two, I'd have to put a two there and there, and that doesn't work. That's the three. There's no three there. This is a two, four pair. That's very cool because now there's no three in either of those. That's the three. This is a four or five pair saying that there's no five there. In fact, these digits are one, two, and nine. So this is one, two, nine. This is one, two because it can't be nine. This three, of course, makes this five, taking five out of there. These are two, three, four. These, of course, are six, seven, eight, which I've had from the very beginning with no six there. Mm. So this is not one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the five. This is a seven, eight. The seven, eight actually doesn't do anything yet. This is the five because of the quadruple, which makes that the four and that the five. I I feel I'm not doing my best. This is this is not my best mo mojo, but I'm having a lot of fun. So um, I keep telling myself that, as if one day it may be true. Six seven six seven six seven. That's all done. Seven eight. So these are one, two, three, nine. I'm not seeing anything about that, but that means these are four, six, seven, and eight. So these are four and seven, and these are six and eight. Four, seven must be here because I can't put four, seven around the quadruple and I can't put them in those. So this is six, eight for the same reason. So if these are six, eight, these are one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are one and two and I can't put one there because of the one, nine. This is one, this is two, which means this is three and there's no three in those, but that means that's the four and that's the two. That's cool. There's no one in any of those. Um, that was nifty. Nifty. This is now a two four pair because of the three making that the three. This is good fun. It's a little trickier than I was expecting, but I'm really enjoying the trickiness. This two four pair? Don't know, but what are these? Because these are two four five and six. So this is the six. This is two four five. Six is in one of those two for the row. In fact, I know what these two are for the row. The six must go there. One, two, three, this is a four, and that becomes the four, which looks down making that the seven and that the four. This quadruple is three, five, seven, and eight. There's no five up here. Five is in one, and there's no five here. This is the five. This is three, seven, eight, which means three must be here because of the three, seven, eight triple. There's no three here. This is, a, oh, I could have just used a three. But I didn't, the same as always. Um, the seven is looking up, taking seven out of those. So that becomes eight, three, and seven. The seven makes that the eight and that the seven. Great. This triple, one, two, nine. Huh. Three is in one of those two, but I'm not sure what to do with that. 
Okay. Why am I finding this getting trickier? Got to put an eight in one of those. So that's the eight. So this is one, two, nine. I don't know. So these are one, five, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, these are one, five, nine. And I'm not seeing, oh, there's no nine in those. So that's a one, five. That's the nine. That's the one. That's the five because of the nine around the quadruple. The one here takes one out of there. It makes that the two, which makes that the nine, which takes nine out of those. The one, two looks across making that the four, that the two, that the four. This digit is the three. The two looks up taking two out of there. The four looks up taking four out of there. The four looks down making that the two, which makes that the five, which makes that the four and that the two. The four, is that the thing? Oh, wow. The nine makes that the one and that the nine, which makes that the five and that the one. This doesn't resolve simply, does it? The This is one, six, seven. No, the six looks down making that seven and that the six. So these are one and nine. So this nine makes this the one and this the nine. That means this isn't the one, this is the one. The two, three pair. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. These are five, six, and eight. The five takes the five out of there. This becomes the five. The six looks down, making that the eight, which makes that the six, and that the eight, which makes that the seven, and that the eight. There is a three in one of those two. There is a four right here. So that's the three, four. These are six and seven, and I'll use the seven to make that the six and that the seven, which makes that the eight and that the seven. Um, there's no two here. Two is in one of those two, but this is a one, nine pair. So this isn't the one, nine. This is the two. This is the three because there's the three looking across. The two looks up making that the one and that the two. The one makes that the nine and that the one, and I can resolve the two, three by any of those digits. That was not fast, but that was a lot of fun. I kind of consider that a gas plus one, unless I missed something. I mean, I'm kind of out of practice with everything right now, but that was a lot of fun. I mean, I get my times are just slow. Part of it is explaining, part of it is holiday. I thought I was faster at quadruples than that. I know the only people who comment on these videos are the fast ones. Um, I know there's a lot of people who do not post their times because they're embarrassed by it. It's okay. I, you don't have to. Um, I, as I've said before, and I will say again, I solve at the speed of fun. And that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that one. And that was the speed I enjoyed. Uh, let's see what tomorrow's puzzle is. Okay, now the puzzle for the 11th of August 2024, which is an elimination Sudoku by Clover. Um, normal Sudoku rules, and then if a digit appears in a cell with an arrow, that digit must not appear again in any of the cells that the arrow points to. Really cool. I don't think I've seen this, so we'll see how we go. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Not that I care about time. Let's give this a shot. So I can tell, for example, this can't be a five and I can't put five in any of those. If this was a five, the rule would be broken. Can't put five in any of those. So this is the five. What are these three digits? These are seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Um, not seeing how to eliminate any of those. Great. Can I do any more like that? So three can't go in any of those or there. So that's a three. So these are two, five, and six. Okay, uh, can I do more of that? One is in one of these four. I can't put it there and I can't put it in those. So this is a one. These are two, three, and four. And there's no two there. Right, so two is in one of those two. Well, what's this? these three cells? Actually, I can do this because these are two, three, and seven. But there's a three here, a seven. This is a two in the middle of the grid. Let's do that. So this is a three, seven pair. And these are one and five. Okay. So four is in one of those two. Six is in one of those two. Eight 
is in one of those two and nine. I'm not sure. Okay, let's look here. So this can't be a seven and those can't be a seven. So this is seven. These are one, two and nine. That can't be a one because of that one. So one is in one of those two, making that the five and that the one. Meaning that's not a five. Did I miss something like that now? Maybe. Like that can't be a seven anymore. So seven is in one of those two, making that the three and that the seven. This is very cool. Meaning that's the four, which means this is a two, three pair. That four says that's not the four, that is the four. This is a triple, which is six, eight, nine. There's no eight there. There's no six there. Let's get rid of the corner marks because eight, nine pair. I don't know. This is very weird. I love it. This can't be a five anymore because of that five. So that's a two, six pair. That is a five. Wow. Am I going to get naked singles on these maybe? I don't know. Like, what can this be? It can, can't be one. It could be two, three, four. It can't be four because of that. Can't be five, six, seven. It could be eight. It can't be nine. So this is only two, three, or eight. But all of that looks okay. This can't be a one because of that. So that's not the one. That's the one. I missed that. I'm not sure how to resolve the two, nine. But that makes this a quadruple. One, four, six, seven. Now, there's no six or seven there. So this is one or four, and it's not one. That's the four, and I can take four out of all of those. This can't be one, so this is six or seven, and I'm not sure. This is not a one, so that's a six, seven pair. That's the one, and this is a six, seven pair. Now, this one has an arrow on it. That one doesn't. Weird. One... Can I put one here? Maybe. If this is a six, that's a seven. If that's a six, that's a two. I, there might be something about that logic that I can use, and I'm not sure. It's fascinating either way. So what can this? It could be one, two. Yeah, it can't be three, four, five. It could be six. It can't be seven, eight. It could be nine. But it can't be... Oh, that's that's all fine. Okay. Four, nine. If this is a two... Oh, this can't be a three. So that's a two, which means this is a nine, which means this is a two. The nine makes that the six and that the two, which makes that the six. The six takes six out of there. This is an eight, nine pair. But the two here means that this can't be a two. Can't be a two. This is a three or an eight. So this is now quite restricted. It can't be one, two, three, four, five. It could be six. It can't be seven. It could be eight or nine, maybe. This can't be two anymore. Can't be nine anymore. This can't be nine anymore because it sees that. So this seven, eight, nine triple is a bit more restricted. This eight, nine pair, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not doing great. One, three... Six, nine. So there's no one or six here. There's no one here. There's no three here. There's no three here. So this is a one, six, nine triple. That's the three. This is very disconcerting. Scanning on these diagonals is not, no, that is that is on the diagonal, but it's not got an arrow. I, 
I don't know what I could do to speed this up for me. Three, four, five, and eight. So there's no three here. There's no five here. This is four or eight, all of which looks okay. There's no five here. So that's there's no five in any of those. That's the five. Which puts five down here in one of those three, but I can't put five there. Can I put five here? Yes. There's, a, there's something here I've missed. And I don't know what it is. Like there's some sort of jumping logic around these arrows that I just haven't quite understood. Like if this is a certain thing, it forces something else to be something and there's a there's a breakage. This is three, which puts three in one of these two. If that's a th three, that seems okay. If that's a three, this is four. I, I, what's the trick? I mean, this is assuming I haven't made a screaming error so far. One can't be in any of those. So one is in one of those two. One here seems fine. One is in one of those two. This could be... This can't be one. It can't be two, three, or four. It could be five. It can't be six, seven, eight. So this is five or nine only? Can it be nine? I don't see why it can't be nine. Like there could be a weird arrow-based Y-wing with this. I feel I'm overcomplicating it, but I don't know. Oh, that, it's that digit. That's an eight, which means that's a nine. That's an eight. That's a nine. That means this is a four, which means this isn't a four. The six, seven is fine, but this one isn't because this looks down. Th that's This is what I was missing. And now this six, not only does it take six out of there and make that the one, that the nine, that the one, and this not the one, but this six looks down saying that can't be the six, that's the seven, which looks up making that the six. That's the trick. Two is in here somewhere, but it could be anywhere. Seven is in one of, seven is right there. So these are two, eight, and nine. There's no nine there. Two, eight, nine. This one? Don't know. That one? No. Okay, so now I really am down to Sudoku. That's a four in the corner. Three is in one of those two. What's this quadruple? Two, three, four, and eight. So these are two, four, and eight. There's no four there. So this is the four. So these are two, three, and eight. There's no eight there. I am a little lost. If that's an eight, that's a six or a nine. Oh, that's not a nine. So this is six or eight. If this is eight, that's three. Then that's eight. If this is eight, this is three, this is eight. And then I'd have to put eight in here. If this is eight, this can't be eight. So this would be three. This would be eight. Those two would be eight. And I'd have to put eight in one of those. That doesn't work. So this is six. I don't know what that does, but it feels true. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are two, eight, and nine. There's no two there. 
this one. Two, there's a five in one of those. What? These are two, five, eight, nine. So this is two or five. So this is two, five, nine. This is two. Because this sees one, three, four, five, six. Eight, nine, why can't that be seven? No, I made a mistake. Because these, that nine makes that the five, and these, this is not the five, this is the five, and this is two or seven. That's what I got wrong, and the seven looks down making that the two and that the seven. The two looks up taking two out of those. This becomes the eight, the nine, and the two, which looks across making this the three, the eight, and the two. The eight looks down doing nothing, but that's what resolved it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight go in. The six makes that the eight, and that the six. I did badly. These are, that's not the five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, two, and nine. The two makes that the nine, and that the two. I did poorly. I chose poorly. And that is the seven. Um, yep. Okay. I struggled with that. Had fun, but I struggled with it. Oops. <laughs> Let's see if I do any better with tomorrow's puzzle. Hint, I probably won't. It hasn't been released yet, so I don't know, but I probably won't. And now we have the most gorgeous day in history, which is apparently the 12th of August 2024 by Bill Murphy. I don't know the details. Anyway, so this is a little killer puzzle by the look of it. So normal Sudoku rules and then clues outside the grid give the sum of the digits along the indicated diagonals. So for example, this 10 clue means that those four digits must sum to 10. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So we know that this digit here, which is the only cell along the diagonal, must sum to 1. The same as this being an 8, this being a 9, and this being a 3. Okay, now these have to sum to five. Now five in two digits. I can't add one to four because one's not available. I could add two to three. Um, if I go up, it's three to two, which is the same. And if I do four, it's four and one. And if it's five, it's five and zero. And then I'm broken after that. These have to sum to 15 without using one, two or three. So they're the smallest digits, four, five and six. And these are seven, eight and nine. Okay, there's no six here. There's no four here. There's no five here. Okay, what about this? 13. 13 could be nine, four, that's possible. It can't be eight, five. It can't be seven, six, and then I hit seven, uh, six, seven. It's the same thing. The nine looks up making that the four and that the nine. Uh, the four looks across making that the five, which makes that the six, which makes that the four. Uh, this These sum to 10. Now, the only digits I've got left here, well, actually I could do it the following way. So. An entire box of a Sudoku, this is going to be slower for me, but faster for most people, but I'm going to explain the logic. An entire box of a Sudoku sums to 45. I know that these digits here, uh, uh, sorry, these digits are 24, 30, 34, 44. So this has to be a one. Um, because those there, those, um, 6, 7, 8, 9 is 30. 34 plus the 10 on the diagonal is 44. To get to 45, I need to put a one here. So these digits are two, three, and five. Um, the five is not in the middle and the two is not there. Okay, now these have to sum to 10, but these already sum to seven. So these have to sum to three. Three is an odd digit, so they can't be the same thing. How do I make three with two different digits? These are one and two. The one here makes this the two and this the one, which means one is down here in one of these two. These have to sum to 15. I can just continue the logic. Summing to 15, I can't use a nine, so I can't use nine, six. They could be seven, eight, and then the next option is eight, seven. The eight, look, which is the same thing. Eight is looking down, making that the seven and that the eight. 
these have to sum to 15 without 7, 8, 9. So they're the highest four digits, 6, 5, and 4, which sums to 15, which means this isn't the 1, this is the 1, and this is the 2, 3 pair. The 2 is looking down, making that the 3, and that the 2, which is looking up, making that the 3, which makes that the 5, and that the 2. Uh, the 3 looks across, making that the 2, and that the 3. The 7, of course, from the very beginning, those pesky given digits, is looking across, saying those weren't the 7. The 8 is looking up. This has been, this box was resolved from the beginning. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and seven go into those the four looks up making that the seven and that the four this is a triple one eight and nine there's no one there there's no nine there these are three and six and i'm not sure how to resolve those yet but let's look at this box this has to be an eight i can't use one seven i could use two six i can't use three five four four is not possible so that's it so the two is looking down making that the six and that the two and now i could do exactly the same trick because 1, 2, 3, 4 is 10, plus 6 is 16, plus 22 is, what is it, 16, plus 20 would be 36, plus 2 would be 38. To get from 38 to 45, that has to be a 7. So these digits are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, and 9. 5, 8, and 9 added together is 22, so that works. The 8, 9 here makes that the 5, and there's no 5 in either of those. The 8 looks down, making that the 9, and that the 8. The 5 looks across, saying there's no 5 there. There's no 4 or 6 there. That's the 5. That's the faster way of doing it. The 4 looks down, making that the 6, and that the 4, and I've done all the corners. Weird. Normally, with a lot of... Um, I mean, I should have expected it from these little killer clues pointing into the corners, but in a lot of puzzles in this series, I, you, you get... The the um, the digits in these cells um, first, and then you have to resolve the corners. This one is backwards from that. So let's have a look at these. These have to sum to twelve. I've already got um, I've already got three. So these have to sum to nine, which is an odd digit. So they have to be different. So they could be actually. Let's just do this. So these are one six and seven. If this is a one, this is an eight. If it's a six, it's a three. If it's a seven, it's a two. It can't be two. So this can't be seven. Oh, it can't be eight. So this is three, which means this is six. There you go. Um, this is known. One, two, three, four, five. These are one and seven. The one looks down making that the seven and that the one. So one, four, seven sums to... It doesn't matter what it sums to. 7 plus 5, I'm aiming for 17. This is the 5 to get me there, which is basically if I subtract 7 from 17, I get 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. That's the way I did that. This is 29. Now, these, 14 plus 8 is 24. So that, wait, no. Am I broken? 14 plus 8 is not 24, it's 22. To get to 29, I need another 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's a 9. And now I've done all the clues. The 1 looks up taking 1 out of there. So that's the 1. Uh, and now I am definitely just down to Sudoku. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are 8 and 9. I have a 9, making that the 8. If the thing doesn't click. Cough. One, two, three, four, six, and seven. There's no four there. There's no seven at the top. Okay, what about these? Two and three. Well, those I can resolve. Three and two. These are, wait, but one at the bottom. Two, three, four, and six. Not sure on that, but it does give me a four, six pair. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, and eight. These are five and eight. The five looks up making that the eight and that the five. The eight makes that the nine and that the eight. Um, this row, I need to put a two in this row, which must go there. So this is six or seven. The six is looking up, making that the seven, that the six, which makes that the four, that the seven, which makes that the six and that the four. Three and six. So the six looks up, making that the three and that the six, which makes that the three and that the six. Down to a single box. Even I should be able to do this. Two goes here. Need to put a three. Can't go in any of those or there. Three. Let's put in the triple because I find it easier at this point. Four. Four, eight, and nine. There's no eight in row seven. So this is the eight and the four looks down, making that the nine and that the four. And that is the puzzle. What's to bet I was 32 seconds outside the time. I don't check. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that one. Um, yeah, I like that one a lot. And yeah, so the being able to use the 45 trick when you had four digits in the box, I think it was actually those four. And then 
you knew that oh, it was those five, sorry, and you knew the diagonal and that allowed you to get the other digit. Um, very, very powerful trick if you know it. Um, it's a very basic trick, but not everyone um, knows it. Most people who are solving this for speed would know it, but people who are solving them to learn the puzzles. And I actually quite like the, um, the shape of the given digits around the place digits. I like that one. Thanks, Bill. Uh, one more puzzle to go in this series, I think. Okay, we finish this um, series with, a, or this set of puzzles, with a puzzle which is a constraint you don't see often in genuinely approachable Sudoku, I don't think, which is indexing, but with a non-standard indexing rule. So this would be interesting. So this is a column indexer by Philip Newman from the 13th of August 2024. Um, so we've got normal Sudoku rules, and then we've got column and a column indexer. So cells marked in a red column, or in sorry, cells marked in red are column indexes. If a digit D in a red cell is in column C, okay. So if a digit is in in its row, then the digit C is in column D in the same row. Okay. Why not just use like F and L at this point? Because fine. So, but if a digit, I suppose it's D for digit and C for column. Okay, fine. But if a digit is in a red cell, so if a digit D is in a red cell, so let's say that there is a five here, then its column, which is C, um, is in... Sorry, Man, this has confused me. I, I know how column indexing works. Then that means that the two, which is the column number, must be in row in column five. If a digit D is in a red cell in column C, hang on. If a digit D is in a red cell is in column C in its row, wow, well, this is confused. The rules have confused me because normally the way it this has really confused me. If a digit D... Because if it was 159, which is what this normally is, then a 5 here would put a 1 here. Now, if yeah, a 5 here puts a 2 here. I'm just trying to understand. If a digit D in a red cell is in column C in its row, if a digit D in a red cell... So digit D, 5, is in column C in its row, then digit C is in column D in the... I don't understand this at all. If digit D is in a red cell in column C. So yeah, in column, so in, digit five is in column two. Then digit D, which is co the column number, is in column D, which is the digit. Yeah, right. Okay. So they're, this is the indexing part and the indexing is right. So in this column, five is in column two. So two must be in column five is what they're saying. Um, it's just because it's spread out over multiple columns. The way this is normally phrased is in column two, marked in a red cell, a five placed in um, col in column two would put a two in column five and the rule same rule applies in column four six and eight because you can understand it better when you are looking at it with numbers um yeah that's the way it works um sorry about the rules confusion this is a bit weird um it's accurate it's just harder for the hum most human brains to just click into I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my time. Let's give this a shot. So a one is in column two. So a two has to be in column one. The two is self-indexing. Seven in column six means that six has to be in column seven. Three in column four means four is in column three. Eight is self-indexing. Nine in column eight means eight is in column nine. Now eight is in one of those two by Sudoku. Now this is column seven. So seven is in one of those two. I'm, this is going to rot my brain. Two is in one of those two. Now, if a two is here, this becomes a six, which is fine. This is going to kill me. Two here means one of these two has to be a three in order to be able to index the two to here. Sorry, this has already broken me. Um, eight is in one of those two. Now, if this is an eight this becomes a four. 
which seems okay. I, oh, man. This is already one I'm not comfortable with. An eight here would make that a two. This can't be an... Oh, right. No, 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 no. Okay, so this is the eight because the two in this column is making this a nine. So if all of the even digits, anytime I've got an even digit, that being a six makes that a three. This being a two is self-indexing. The eight is done. The four here means that this is a seven. And I think I'm now done. But these are a triple. Three, six, and seven. So the two can't go here. So this isn't a three. This is a six or a seven. So the two can't be here. The two has to be here, making this the six, because the two had to go here. I can't put the two here. And basically, and this is an entropy trick. The three is saying this can't be the three. So this is the three, and this is the seven. Now, there is an entropy trick that you can use here, um, which I may need. We will see how we go. Um, but the entropy trick is basically, these had to be different entropies. One from one, two, three. Uh, actually, yeah, that is still true. One from one, two, three. One from four, five, six. One from seven, eight, nine. Because if, say, this was three and this was one, then I'd have to put two here and two here, and I'd be repeating two in the box. So these have to be um, one placing one in this box, one placing one in this box, and one placing one in this box. So within these vertical bands, within the same boxes, you have to have one of each entropy. So for example, seven is in one of those cells because I can't put seven here because a seven here would require me to put an eight here. So seven is in one of those three cells. That seven is saying not there. So seven is in one of those two. Down, um, down here, I can't put, well, I've got to put a high digit in one of those, but, eh, but there is a one down here because I have to put a low digit down here and there's a two, three. So there's a one down here. Now this can't, this is the one because that's the eight. That's the one. This is not the one. This is the one and this is the six. Okay. A little all over the place. One is in one of those two. <laughs> But this is now a middle digit. It's four or six. If it's four, that becomes a six, and that would be fine. I am not doing great at this puzzle. Two, this is a two seven pair because of the two and the seven looking across, and the two is looking down, making that the seven and that the two. And these are two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, this can't be a three because of entropy. That's the four, that's the three. The four turns around and says, that's the eight, this is not the eight. Cool, nine has to be in one of these now because I can't repeat high digits. So nine is in one of those two because that nine says not there. In fact, this is a triple. One, five, nine. There's no five there. Not sure. There's a, two, there's a two in here because I need to put a low digit in and I can't use a one or a three. So there's a two right there, making that the four, which makes that the six. And this is the middle digit, which is four or five, which means if this is a, yeah, the four is in one of those two, which I have by Sudoku. This is a high digit and it's not eight or nine. So that's the seven, which of course makes that the two. Yep, yeah, that works. I'm finding this quite tricky. Three, five, eight. This isn't the three, which means two is in one of those two. It's in one of those two, and it's in one of those two, which makes perfect sense. There is a middle digit in here and a high digit in here, and I'm not seeing what that is. I've got to put one, a three in one of those. I could probably do what I did down here, up here. I'm just not sure how. There's a nine here because I have to put a high digit in this band and I can't use seven or eight. So that's a nine, which makes that a four. This needs to be a four, a five or a six. So it's a four or a six, which means there's a four in one of those two. 
Now I need to put a middle digit in here, which is either a four there or a five there. If that's a five, that would be a six. I'm not sure. This can't be the low digit because it sees one, two, three. So this is the low digit which sees one, two. That's the, oh, of course, because that's the eight. There you go. This is the middle digit, which is four. That's a six. That's a six, which turns around to that and says that's the eight. So that's the four. I'm finding this quite tricky. Two, five, seven. There's no seven there. Okay, so those are two, five, seven. which means the eights are here, here, except not there, and here. Now this has to be a middle digit. So it's five, this is five, which means this is the six. This is a known digit. One, two, three, this is the seven. These are one and seven, and I know the order, one and seven. These are one, five, nine, there's no one in either of those. That's the one. The five is looking up, making that the nine and that the five. This is a lot of fun, by the way. I'm just finding it quite tricky. One, six, nine. There's no six there. So somewhere in here, I need to put a nine. Actually, I know what these are. One, two, three, four and nine. This is a four, nine pair. And I know the order. That's the nine. That's the four. The nine makes that the six. The four makes that the six. Ha ha. I still feel lost. These are three and eight. The four looks down, making that the five, which makes that the four. This is the one, which makes that the four. These are one, five, nine. There's no nine there. These are two, five, eight. There's no eight there. Wait, there's no eight there because an eight there would require... No, hang on. Why have I got no eight there? I'm not sure that's true. Those are two, five, eight. Eight there would require five there, and that seems possible. I think I'm really worried I've messed up my indexing somewhere. There's no one here. So this is five or nine. That's nine, that's five. Ah, crikey, what have I done? I've messed this up big time. What up? Maybe is maybe this is salvageable. These are three and nine. So this is nine, this is three. Though this is one, this is five. Because I don't think I've used any of these pencil marks. I've been focusing on the indexing. Three and nine. So this is nine and three. These are two and seven. So this is two, this is seven. Two makes this three because it's the three is indexing the two. The two makes this five, which makes this eight, which makes this one. There's no one here. The five eight makes this nine. The five takes five out of those. So the eight is only in two and seven. So there's no eight here. The one makes this nine and one. The seven makes this two, which makes this eight by indexing, which makes this three which makes this five, two, seven, eight, and five. I did terribly at that. The entropy trick was absolutely needed. And I'm not sure how people who don't know the entropy trick would go at this. But it was a really clever puzzle. I liked it. I just didn't do very well at it. I haven't solved a, a column indexing puzzle for a very long time, but it was very good. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the series. I know these videos are late at the moment, but I am way behind. I have a lot of stuff that I, I'm, I'm working late. I'm having a lot of engagements. I'm having to get a lot of stuff done in the evenings. I have no time to record. I'm literally 
fitting things into coffee breaks. So we'll see how things go. Um, thanks everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.